Hi friends, welcome to Breakfast with Bacon. Today we're talking to you about chronic immune dysregulation that is affecting the bones and the joints. So we see a lot of people you know, feeling this way where they feel a lot of pain, a lot of swelling. Like what else would you see? Well, I, honestly, yeah, that's joint, joint deformation, things like that. If we run x-rays, we see, they're, this is what's interesting. They're tired after lunch, they're craving sweets, they can't sleep, they, they're, they're feeling stiff, their joints are swollen and sore. These are things that we're looking at that I don't think are just a chronic joint problem. It could be an autoimmune. And there are three things that we would recommend you do to check on them. Number one would be what? So to contact someone who can run some um, more informative blood work for you. So these would be RH factor, um, anti-CCP antibodies, HLA. These would be some indicators that your immune system is actually attacking and going after your joints. Right, after the own tissue, right? right. And that's kind of the idea. So for me, number two is mm -hmm. going to be watching for the sugar. Of course, we can always talk about the AIP diet, which is the mm -hmm. autoimmune program diet. But mainly is going to be the yeast. This is where yeast likes sugar and it also likes B vitamins. This is why you're also tired. But let me explain something to you. The yeast and the synovium look very similar and likely structured. So what we're looking for is if yeast is overgrowth in the gut, it's getting into the bloodstream. Well, then it's going to circulate through the body. The body's going, we don't want this. It looks very close to the synovium. So then it will also address, it's going to attack the yeast and the synovium of the, of the joint, which is going to break it down, which is kind of this RA type of process. Now, what we want to do then is try to eliminate that sugar. That's going to be the biggest thing that we can start doing. Then number three would be adding in some decoys or some vitamins to support the body. And those are what? Right. So our favorite supplementation for someone um, by struggling with autoimmune, autoimmunity attacking the joints would be um, this Medier product, Boswellia Complex. It contains Boswellia, also known as frankincense, mm -hmm. with ginger and turmeric and celery seeds. So these herbs work in different ways to bring down the inflammation mm -hmm. in the joints. And then we'd also recommend Ostrophin PMG, which is the protomorphogen extract of the bones themselves. Right. So this would just act as a decoy to take the immune system attack away from that tissue. And then Rumaplex, is a fantastic multivitamin for anyone with RA or this chronic swelling and pain in the joints. So it has a lot of calcium in it, it's got some liver flushing factors, some B vitamins, and some phosphatase to help absorption of those nutrients, um, which would encourage um, healing, growth, and repair of the joints. Yeah, so it has that anti-stiffness factor that we're talking about too, that was created back with the beta call. So this is amazing information. So if you're suffering from any of this joint pain or aches, or you're tired after lunch, or you can't sleep, or you're craving sweets, these can be things that can be leading you toward, remember, when it comes to an autoimmune, it's not an immediate response. It's one of those things that it's a disease process that your body's going through. Let somebody know you're having these kind of problems. You can reach out to us. We can maybe give you some advice. Forward this to your friends. If you have any other questions, please let us know. And we'll see you guys again on the next Breakfast with Bacon.